package from Future Classic. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. We have 15 millimeter spacers. So some of you are asking, well, why do you have spacer? Why are you getting spacers if, uh, if you already have spacers? Well, I, my car came with Mott Schnells. And for most of you that um, are on the BMW forum, you might know that Mott Schnells sometimes have some induced vibration, um, which I'm getting. So they came with the car. I don't care for them, so I went and bought uh, Future Classics. And also, Ken, the Daily Driven, um, did mention that they do seem to feel better with the steering wheel. So we're gonna try it, see if it helps. Go from there. So, just to sort of, oh no, show you. These are sealed very nicely. Um, I actually don't even want to open them before I install them, but I'm going to for you guys. So, pop these open, however they sealed them. Just want to open the one, though. Wow, these actually weigh much less than the uh, Mott Snells. The Mott Snells are heavier than this. Um, wow, okay. I already like these more, for sure. Um, as I pull those out, get a little card, Future Classic. Welcome to the club. Their sticker, I used to have this on my F30. If you ever saw my F30, this was in the upper right corner of the car. Instruction manuals. And then I should have my accessories. Yep, here we go my little bolts to hold them in. And then I'm not sure what's in, okay, there's nothing in there. So the cool thing about these spacers is they have extended uh, hex bolts to put them in, or to hold them in. Probably unnecessary, but I like that. So your spacers isn't moving around or falling off. So these are cool. Then they have these, like I think it's some anti C's. So I opted not to get the lugs since I already have lugs, so it seemed pointless to rebuy those. And then just to sort of pull open their instruction manual. There you go. Gives you all the details. All right, we're here with Kyler. I have made it to his parents' place so I can borrow a jack. I need to get a jack. <laughs> so um, we're gonna swap out the spacers and then see if it's any better. Okay. Got the new spacer. There's the old one. These cutouts probably save a ton on the weight. We got to take out these two little nuts, put the spacer on, and then put these bolts in. All right, to keep it transparent, I mushroomed one, so I need to get that drilled out. That is a pain in my ass. That was stupid. Um, I don't, I guess I forgot to use some PBB blaster before I unscrewed it and that one stripped. But anyways, this one went in perfectly fine, didn't strip it, uh, did 16 Newton meters, which is what's the spec, should be fine. And then I use the anti-seize on the bolt and on the back of the spacer and it should be good. All right, so I got this side on, should be fine. Um, this side went much smoother. 
none of the ones got stuck so those back went back in um, torque spec of 16 newton meters um, and then we did use some anti seize on the hub itself and on the nuts or the bolts I mean and then when we put the wheel back on we're going to torque them to 106 foot pounds which I believe is a hundred and hold on let me check what is the max on this should be like 140 something newton meters I believe and you did spray some WD-40 yeah and then to make sure I didn't mess up on this side I put some WD-40 usually you'd want PB blaster but WD-40 is all we had um, and actually helped a lot all right the car is back together I'm probably going to go uh, go for a drive and make sure everything's good and I'll report back if there's anything wrong with it um, or if there's something else causing the vibration and it's not working on your car unless you run into issues like always um, thankfully it wasn't too bad we were able to at least work on it for the time being and then I'll just end up getting that stripped one out at some point it's pretty easy I just don't have the tool here um, or I'll get WTF or I'll get Ben to try to pull it out for me um, but thanks Kyler for letting me borrow his space and Jack and whatnot of course. and how do you want to close this out um, I do want to say that Future Classic spacers are super light. That's like the lightest spacer I've ever felt. And so, I mean, of course it's gonna be a lot more money, but uh, hopefully it's worth it and you don't have any more vibration issues. Hopefully. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. You heard him. <laughs> Peace.